We are closer than ever to expanding Medicaid in North Carolina, as we just mentioned, now that the Senate passed a bill and sent it to the House. But how many people, more people, would that affect? Well, one expert is bracing for a huge number. CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary is fact-checking his claim. An official from the John Locke Foundation says expanding Medicaid could mean a third of our state's population would be on it. But other experts tell me that's too high. John Locke Foundation analyst Jordan Roberts told a committee recently what his group expects. If expansion happens, there could be upwards of 3.3 million people on Medicaid. That's one out of every three in the state, and we don't think that's a sustainable program. Other experts peg it a bit lower. Duke professor Donald Taylor says in an email that one-third sounds a bit high, but one in four to one in five is not. So I asked Roberts where the 3.3 million came from. He says the state counts 2.7 million people on Medicaid already, and the Urban Institute projects 600,000 more if the program expands. But Hun Nam Kung of the North Carolina Justice Center disagrees. That's really bad math. So it's an overestimate. It's a, it's, a, it's a dramatic overestimate. She says it's because it doesn't take redetermination into account. Congress said people on Medicaid couldn't be kicked off it during the COVID-19 pandemic. But once it ends, the state has to go through to make sure the people on it now should still be on it later. We do have a higher number of folks who are on Medicaid right now, but it's because we haven't done redetermination, and a lot of those folks would actually be transferred to Medicaid expansion if we decided to expand. In response, Roberts says he stands by his numbers because we don't know when redetermination will happen. And there was a second part to what Roberts said. Would having that many people on Medicaid be sustainable? We break that down in this story online. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary.